Hundreds of families in Woburn tonight are still without heat or hot water, and National Grid says many won't have natural gas service again until Thursday. The company president says crews will be relighting individual meters late tonight and tomorrow. They were shut off after replacement workers accidentally overpressurized the gas line there. Homeowners tell our Mike LaCrosse tonight that they understand that people make mistakes, but they're also trying to keep their patience at this point. National Grid is hoping to have the system re-energized later on tonight or early tomorrow morning and have service fully restored by Thursday. I'm optimistic, so we'll see. 300 residents off Wyman and Park Streets in Woburn are dealing with night two without gas. No gas means no cooking or hot water for showers or laundry. Residents we spoke with are being patient. We're bearing through it. You know, it's not as bad as Merrimack Valley, so we're trying our best. The gas was shut off on Monday as a safety measure after a crew mistakenly overpressurized the system. National Grid says the restoration process will be deliberately slow. So we're going to take our time and do it slowly. We'll add gas back to the network, then we'll take a pause, test. Fix any issues that come up and move to the next step. Repeat. Locked out National Grid union workers are in Woburn tonight calling for the company to end the labor dispute. It's infuriating to see something like this happen when we know it could have been prevented if we were working. National Grid's president would not comment on the union negotiations, only saying that the work being done here is safe and that talks with the union will resume on Friday. Reporting from Woburn, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.